what is happening y'all welcome on back so let's hop in uh, I checked when we when I had the game paused sorry I can't Did see I if I can me? I don't have the option nope. to use materia yet so What's going on? I don't know if we kept oh, it or not uh, it's nothing really there's just something I need to ask you so can we talk sure great but not here follow me Damn, Tifa got that speed walk. You know that I killed her. So, who is she? Or rather, what is she? Do you think Midgar's over there? Anyway. There's something I need to ask you too. Shoot. That night, five years ago, at the reactor, I saw you lying there. Saw your wound and all the blood. I figured it was too late. Yeah? <sighs> Wait, what are you implying? That I died? That I'm some kind of imposter? <sighs> Can't believe I'm having this conversation with you. But here we are. Here, look. My scar, that proof enough? After you left, Zongon found me. He's the one who brought me to the clinic. He risked his life carrying me out of the reactor and down the river. Wasn't just him, though. There's the doctor who operated on me all night, and the nurses who looked after me for days on end. I'm here now because they were there for me then. And where were you again? In fact, where have you been this whole time? For five years! You know I can't tell you that. Of course you can't. Sorry, I just need some space. And Cloud just, as the youngins would say, just ain't got the riz. Did I use that right? Oh man, I could just chill here and listen to this. just pick up where we left off like nothing had changed but I guess I was wrong guess so I was so happy to see you again but maybe I shouldn't have been damn bro so the inn at calm this is so this does, I was, I was looking up Calm, and this does track with the original. After the original, when we leave Midgard, one of the first places you end up is, is Calm, and that's when they recap what happened, the events at Midgard, to give some context to Sephiroth. Um, to be honest, I'm leaning towards the, like, the dual world theory, though, because right at the start of the game, we saw, you know, the, the tornadoes came down, and we saw Zack carrying Cloud, and the rest of them were captured. So I think 
I don't know. I think there's a there's some dual world thing going on. I think in Zack's world, they all got captured, and now Zack is trying to rescue them. But in this timeline, Zack is gone, and they all successfully left the city. You two fight. No. We have enough problems as it is. Copy? Night. Damn, sleeps with the pauldron on? Tomorrow is another day. Unless we see Zack soon, I'm convinced this is What's this? A dual timelines. From our humble establishment. Though it may not look like much, it should help you to break the ice with those you meet. Queen's blood? Oh shit. We got a card minigame. I'll give you a new card to add to your collection. It's like triple triad all over again. You can also build and edit decks. Oh, man. Yes, I need to learn how to play it. Oh, I get addicted to mini games. Three lanes. First, try placing a card on one of the abandoned highlighted titles adorned with an emerald pawn. Okay, it wants me to play Gargantua. It looks like I. Place, yeah, so it denotes what their coverage is. He is going to be able to cover those areas. Top right corner of the card is its power, while it positions a card will add to the border indicated by the yellow squares. Okay. Oh, and he can. Okay, and then I'm guessing next place the card so that one of its yellow tiles overlap with one of your existing tile positions. Okay. So if I do that, it's going to create... Because I can't do there. I have to play on a thingy, and then that's going to create a second one. can only be placed on positions equal to or higher than their rank, which is denoted by the number of icons in the top left corner of the card. So now I can play the Riot Trooper. And that's going to power up this entire row. So it's just a lane gamble here. The event you cannot place a card, you can pass. When both players pass, the game ends. Raise the power of allied cards on affected tiles by two while this card is in play. Alright. So let me play you. I'm going to take that middle. And then I'm going to play the crab, and that should raise the wolf up. So that's going to boost my mid lane. Magic pot, what do you do? Is the power? Two. Damn, that's big. 
Um, I want to take his tile. So what I should do here... I need a little more power in my mid lane. So we'll place this and we'll box him out. And I don't think he can play at all now. Yeah, correct. All right. Um, and then all I need is just raw power. So I can just do that. He has to pass. match with the lead count. We got shuffleboard rules. And so I'll get five for the top line. If I didn't, he would have gotten five there, but I already gotten four. So it's going to be highest lane wins and a combination of your scores. Oh no, we can... We could buy them in, in shops? Oh god, there's a gotcha mechanic. It's all over now. It does seem like it's gonna be pretty easy though. I'm gonna I'm gonna crush things in Queen's Blood. Of course. This is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings. How's that TV? Culminating in this unprecedented destruction caused by a massive tornado which swept through sectors 0, 1, and 2. After a briefing with Shinra investigators, Mayor Domino released a statement declaring the tornado to be, quote, I want to hear if they talk warfare, about the survivors again. Perpetrated by the infamous insurgent group known as Avalanche. The administration also suspects the involvement of Wu Tai and has begun investigations into the matter. Cuts off. I was, I was curious. So yeah, if that's happening, that, that pretty much confirms it. We're looking at a dual timeline course, event. This is only the most recent in a series of Good crises. morning, sir. Multiple reactor bombings. I must apologize for not introducing myself to you earlier. I'm Broden, the owner of this inn. Your companions have all stepped out. Oh, but Barrett left a message he wanted me to pass along to you. You missed roll call, soldier boy. Luckily, you're on leave for the day. Don't waste it, though. Get your equipment checked ASAP. Sound advice. Gear, access to material and equipment menu. Perhaps a trip to the arms dealer is in order? Perhaps indeed, Broden. By the way, Cloud, do you have any folios on you? Yeah. In that case, you might also want to pay a visit to Magnata Books. They have stores all over, but the first official one was built here in Calm. And their resident scholars are remarkably talented. If you want to unlock the true potential of your folios, you should go see them. The first folios. customization is always free. Your folios? There's so much more going on in this game. So this is already looking like it's going to be a long episode. Finally. We got mini games, equipment Rough to set up. Yesterday, huh? You've been waiting for me? I've been waiting for a chance to thank you properly. Without your help, I'd still be in Hojo's clutches, trapped in that lab. Was nothing. Even so, I owe you a debt, until it's paid. I'm going to accompany you. Let's go! I remember Red 13 being pretty wild. I'm curious to see how he plays. We didn't get to actually oh, control well. him in the Yuffie DLC, if I remember. If you're getting your equipment checked, have them check mine while you're at it. Sure thing. Looks got a backbone. Well, first things first, we got some mini games to play. What do you want? Give me your cards, you nerd. Like you you don't wanna play Queen's Blood. Oh god, don't give me that look. Oh, people call me crybaby dead. <laughs> This fucking guy. The more tears I shed, the better I get at Queen's Blood. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, edit deck. 
Okay, so this deck is just preset. I don't have anything I can really edit here. Let's, uh, oh, we can have six decks on hand. Let's go. We get a mulligan, too. All right, let's see. You seem like a pretty potent, too, if I can put you, like, two rows in. Um, I need someone with good line potential. Let's swap you out and you. Alright, let's see. Alright, so we're gonna do... I put it there in the two. Hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, hang on. Yes. Play. Okay, next play, I'm going to... If I put him there... Alright, so if I do you here, you're going to do that, and then... That'll cover... I'd like to get one in the middle, but I'm trying to think. I can't... Wait, move... In fact, a tile should be good to play now. I would need. Mm. Uh, yes. Shit. He's going quick. Uh, if he takes that spot, I'm in trouble. Um. I need... As long as he doesn't play anything in that mid zone, my J unit sweeper is going to come out. Son of a bitch! But it didn't take it, so... I can take both of those. Alright, I need... Um, damn, you would have been an interesting middle one. Oh, wait, oh, you're for like a larger board. Okay, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Uh, if I press, you're a three placer. Let's do that, and then you're. No. If I take his three spotter away, that'll be big right now. Oh, you're dumb, bro. You're dumb. GG, game's over. Get shriggity shrekt, nerd. Oh, seven files. I gotta do is take the top lane and I win. Alright, uh, let's see. Power of two. And then one, two. That'll tie my bottom lane. Wait. Hang on a second. No, I gotta do. No, you need a three there. So, how do I play this? I go there and then I play Magic Pot. That's going to boost that lane. No, hang on. You have a buff, you have a buff. Ally cards by two. Uh, but I'm only going to hit one ally card with that, so... I'm still going to lose that no matter what. So I need to figure out how to point my top lane as much as possible. Which would be playing you. What happens if the top lane ties? Power. We're good.
Get smashed, Ned. I like that. It's, it's fast. Oh, God! I love it. But, uh, I feel a lot better after having a good cry. There's nothing like a game of Queen's Blood to relieve some stress. Speaking of, it's written all over you. You really ought to try it. Which, full disclosure, we are we are doing all the Queen's Blood. If you if you uh, don't like mini games, this is not going to be the playthrough for you to watch. I I get sucked into card games. So how about it, pretty boy? But first, let me now. She ain't ready to get your ass. Let's go, Nay Nay. Okay. I like you. Magic Pot has really strong potential if I can guard the midline and build up to it. Um, you will drop for now. You need a larger, larger board to be useful. Pre-built one for all. Okay, and then all right, now I just hit back. Okay, now we're good. Okay, um, uh, you are really strong. We're keeping you for sure. Yeah, this seems like a decent start. Okay. Right, I need to build up a two. If I play you right at the start, I'm going to stack a two there. But that won't put anything where I want them, but I can do... Yes, hang on. Okay. I got it. I'm going to do that. Then we're going to put Moo in place. To boost him and do that. We're going to put you out. Now if I can pull out my, my cross guy right now, he would be really good right now. Okay. I uh, did not pull him out. So instead, we're gonna go. God, I really don't want to play. That single is dangerous. Hang on. Best way to do that is gonna be to steal it. Now you come out. Man, if I had that one turn earlier, I was going to drop him. It was going to be a huge boost for the board. Um, I could still kind of do that. Hang on, I would need to. It's a little bit of a gamble. Hang on. No, let me go. Here. Two, two, two. Uh, shit. Uh, no, he's going to immediately play there. Shit, 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 shit. What do I want to do? I guess I would do that to lock him out. I'm just not going to have any way to stack, but that, that chains them out. Um, uh, wait, why? Hang on a second. Why are you buffing? I don't get why it's buffing those two. This card has no abilities. Why is this buffing? It's adding to my, my... That's super confusing to me. Oh, it looks like it didn't buff. Hmm. Uh, 
Mega combo finish. Yeah, you got no chance, my guy. Cactar raises the card of allies. He said sometimes you gotta take the L. I can't believe they put that in as a dialogue. Let's see what's down there. There's a chest. Yo, we're swimming! I don't remember swimming in the last game. with the bookstore? If so, I won't keep you. But if you're free afterwards, wanna climb the clock tower together? Uh, obviously. Sure. Let's. For real? Awesome! Since it was my idea, I'll go get the tickets. I'll meet you in front of the tower, okay? This is your first visit to one of our stores. Well, customization can seem tricky to the uninitiated. It takes time and experience to get it right. But I think you'll pick it up quick enough. Let's give it a try. Skill points to uh, party's folios, thus unlocking powers latent in your allies. Okay. Unlock skill cores in your character's folio increases their stats or teaches them new abilities, including synergy. That's the tutorial for this. So that clouds folio. Orange skill cores can be unlocked by sending skill points. Bring your cursor to the skill core in the upper left. Firework ability, or synergy ability. Firework blade cloud uses Aerith's magic to unleash a ranged attack. That sounds nice. And it's going to increase the limit level. Okay. Lock it. How do I get these? Mastered a new synergy ability. To unlock skill cores, adjacent cores become available. You're free to choose which skill cores to unlock, adapting a character's strength to suit your playstyle. Increasing the party level creates more skill cores. Character will earn SP when they level up or when they acquire manuscripts such as Art of Swordplay. Unlock skill cores can be reset at any time and the SP spent will be returned. Awesome. And that's about all we can do for now. But we haven't even skimmed the surface, believe you me. There's much more to this than meets the eye. It may not seem like it yet, but you'll see. Uh, hey there. there's, there's no others? Do I, I want I want more? SP. Barrett. Barrett and Hone, temporary three charge ATB gauge, or team up with your partner to take a strong defensive stance. That might be nice, like big, big attack is incoming and I can force a tank, but let's, let's go synergy stuff. I think, uh, Focusing on synergy is cooler. Leap into the air to deliver a spinning attack. Temporary. God, that's wild. The jumping attack. Soaring flurry or a launch attack. Just throws her up, bro. Oh my god. This is there's so much shit in this game. It's awesome. Uh temporary unlimited MP sounds wild. Where do I go from there? 
Oh. Unique abilities up by five. Unleash an ice magic attack without expending MP. Guaranteed hit. You learn this ability to strengthen ice spells. That sounds pretty good. Fire attack, guaranteed hit. Um, damage dealt by basic grounded combos. Yeah, let's go for that. God, dude, there's so much going on here that by comparison, the remake looks like a half-assed remake. This is insane. They added a card mini game. They've there's this whole party combo system now. I know they added like like chocobo racing and and shit because you know they sent me like a review guide and it's like here's some new stuff that's in the game like and I like skimmed it, but actually seeing all this stuff defend you while you move about the field that could be really good from a casting perspective for Aerith. And then max MP up, lightning attack, wide range for free. To deal damage across a wide area. That looks sick. I want to use that. I don't even need to read it. That just looks fucking cool. Red, what do you got? Barrett sends Rift flying at high velocity. That's sweet. Or the wild charge. Nah, I want, I want the combos. And then I guess as I go on these like little dates, like the one I'm going to do with Aerith, in theory, that should increase the abilities it's going to unlock my party level. It's going to build that up. Yeah, there's a, uh, a merchant or someone over there. I wonder if I can... Yeah, that ain't gonna happen now. 22 meters. Is there... I thought maybe there was like a staircase or a back path to get over there. Oh, there is. It's just this way. Hello, and welcome to my humble shop. All right, what do you got? Healing. I got healing, fire, ice, lightning, wind, chakra, assess, steel. Hmm. One HP up. One precision defense. Oh no. Oh no, not boost. Oh no, not boost effects. Oh. Oh no, I can't stop myself. Oh, oh, they're the cards. They're disappearing. Antidotes, I have two of those. Thanks. Hope to see you again soon. Thank you. It's all foggy over here. Oh my god, bro. We just started and I'm already just absolutely overwhelmed with the amount of content that I've, I've seen. The new stuff that we're experiencing, the... I didn't even realize that was just like the retelling of the story. There's still a bunch that seemed really new to that for me. Um, is there a map? And then the Intel Spells Inventory card decks. I don't think there's a map. Wait, yes there is a map, I'm dumb. Armed and dangerous, and then over there, call it calm. All right, let's go over here. I can't really afford anything, but let's go do it. Welcome. Damn, that is quite the weapon you got there, Mister. Seen plenty of action by the look of it, but saying that, it's still only a shadow of what it could be. With a look you like, I could. Adjust your weapon skills via upgrade menu, raising your characters, weapon levels will unlock more of these skills, so stat boosts. Okay, so that's how it used to be in the last game. Yeah, let's do the tutorial. Upgrade weapon, you can see your party's current level, their weapon levels the amount of SP points needed to reach the next level. Select Cloud's Buster Sword, Weapons attributes and acquired skills are displayed here. Focus thrust, uh, acquired skills, weapon damage by 5, HP by 200. Uh, upcoming level, improved Punisher, strong attack by 10%, and some stat boosts. Now try equipping a weapon skill, okay? The nodes in which you can equip skills are displayed here, so I could do extra health or weapon damage up by 5, so I'll put that on. In addition to the upgrade weapon screen, you can also tweak your skill loadout by going to Materia and Equipment, Setting Materia. If you prefer a more streamlined experience, you can opt to automatically allocate weapon skills. This can be done from Auto Upgrade Setting Menu. 
Use between how to auto optimize your weapons. Got See, it. What I tell you, that girl is singing, and she's got the voice of an angel. Just make sure you take proper care of her, all right? Oh, and while you're here, check out what we got to offer. I'm kind of broke, but I'll take a look. Ooh, exploit an enemy's weakness. Mm, I'm poor. That would have been all my money. I'm gonna need money. I want. I want all of this. I just want. I want one of these. I want one of these. I want one of these. Oh, I don't want one of those. Well, having one of those could be useful. I need to get all this shit. We gotta go find stuff to kill. I need money. Or I need a way to gamble. Use your proficiency maxed out to even use set ability when you don't have it equipped. Yep, that's how it was in the last game. You go to the clock tower when you're ready. Alright, well, we did the... The people that had, uh, we did the two card games. Can I explore more of the town? I think it, it, it probably wants to, like, funnel me towards the clock tower right now, but let me see if I can, like, not do that. And oh, no, this is just going to take me back to, wait, wait. All right. No, no, hang on, Aerith. Where are we at? We got to. This way. Oh, hey, hey, Tifa, what's up? Uh, morning. Morning. Everyone's kind of off doing their own thing. I noticed. Say, uh, this tank remind you of anything? Yeah. The place I made that promise to you. You remember the dress I wore? It was one of my favorites. Uh, the light blue one? With a bit of green in there? Yeah. Hiding back here from me like I'm not about to take your cards. <laughs> Alright, first things first. I gotta go to inventory. Where are my gotcha packs at? Oh, that's right. I forgot. I was like, what is happening here? And I remembered I swapped those buttons. Um, boom, 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 boom. So the packs just opened automatically? collection. Uh, I think so, because I got way more shit going on. Okay, deck one. Let's, uh... Let's edit this. <clears throat> Enfeebling abilities. You now have a card that can lower the power or enfeeble other cards. When a card's power is reduced to zero, it's destroyed? That's big! There are also cards whose abilities activate only when they are destroyed or enfeebled. Use enfeeblement abilities on your own cards. Fuck, there's a lot going on here. Alright, um... You're a two and you buff. Damn, that Kexacodal claims a lot. That seems, and it's a three power, so you're definitely going in the deck. You're a four power and you back up the front line a lot. Let's do you. I might, I mean, Magic Pot is big, but it's hard to use that. Let me... I just don't need two of you. Let me drop one of you out. I need some better one-liners. Cactar, you look excellent as a one-liner. You're the same thing that the bird is, except you also buff somebody, so you're, you're an auto-include. Um, security officers are just... Well, the wolf has more power, though. Lan, that has a lot of potential and backing up reverse lines. This guy, I need a bigger board, bigger matches for some of them. Where is the one that has Enfeebler? How do I see uh, this guy? I played lower the power of cards and the effective tiles by four. All right, so I definitely want to add some of them in. 
There are two, though. I could destroy... Well, maybe I only do one of you for now. And then I will... I have one magic pot. If I can... The thing is, it's... It's... Uh, I'm gonna drop him. It's hard to set up a space for him. Like, defending that space. Until he gets a chance to come out. What a glorious wall. Keeping us safe. Excuse me. <laughs> that was my barricade you just destroyed. Oh. Come to admire the Bailey? It is. Or maybe you're here to get your ass handed to you in a QB match. <laughs> I'm Zahira. A pleasure. Just like Calm's wall, I yield to no one, refusing to give a single inch to my opponents. Don't presume you'll emerge unscathed if you decide to go up against me. Because you will wind up with more than just a few. All right, the dialogue on these matches is just outrageous and I love them. And that is a sick ass card. That is just spread it to everywhere, but it's a three drop. Well, let's whoop your ass. I'm the master of Gwent. I'll become the master of Queen's Blood as well. All right, what do we got? A good drop in, good spread at the start, good buff buff. Um, let's replay you. Place you. All right, where do you want to go, pal? Let's do that. Then I think we're going to go our sweeper unit. Scooching over. Ain't scooching enough. I could get a three up on the top. Don't look at me one in the center. Let's do that. And then if he doesn't make a play, security officer is gonna come in and snatch up a lot of spaces. He did! Oh, you son of a bitch. Uh fuck. Fuck that that screwed me over big time. Um no, I'm dead! Oh no! Oh no! Outplayed! Shit! Is there a forfeit? The ultimate card power. Rewind the time! What's that plus three down there? Oh, for the car that ends up over there. Okay, so cactars you drop at the top. Okay, okay. Devil Rider is a really weird choice. Do I not have one there? I don't. He's gonna steal that spot, isn't he? But I can do this. 
replace that to empower that one. And we are out, so... Let's see. I think I win the top row and possibly the mid row. I mean, he has a lot of cards he can play, so we'll see what happens. Nope, never mind. I'm Well, no, he might have... No, he definitely... Damn it. I think I need to... I, I looked at you and I was like, oh my god, you're awesome, but you're only going to work if I destroy another card. So I would need to put the Grenadiers in if I'm going to use the Riders. Because <clears throat> I think the idea is I use the Grenadier to kill something and then I play the Rider in their back line. I think that's the combo. Let's remove you for now. You have good spread. You have good spread. You have good spread. You're good power. I think we'll try. We'll try this out. And this person got some hands. Okay, crystalline crab. Right at the start. Okay, let's do it. Um. He's gonna go over one, okay. So we're gonna play you. Some good good gems there. He's gonna try and take my two. That's okay. I am not getting the shit that I need right now. Um, you're gonna take that one and that one. That might be the play right now. Hmm. He could potentially destroy the cactar. Try it. This is gonna this is gonna determine things. If he takes that top slot, I can't play Grenadier. Hopefully he goes for the bottom. No, he's gonna go for the top, you son of a bitch. Throw it two, five, and six. Damn it. I think we lose lost again. I don't think there's any chance to beat this. Yeah, maybe I... Yeah, hang on. This this isn't going to work. This isn't going to work. The Devil Rider Grenadier strategy. Unless unless when Grenadier hits, he like... He pushes really hard. I need stuff that's going to progress into the enemy's board. Which I don't have enough of that right now. What do you do? What's your, what's your special? Details... Lower the power of allied and enemy cards on afflicted tiles by three. All right, let's put Toxarats in. Those are pretty basic. I can use that as a front line to potentially destroy, and, and that'll be a good way to test destroying stuff without doing the Grenadier. Because right now, like, I'm, I'm trying to go all big brain and set up some grand strategy, and the problem is I'm not even getting the basic things out that I need to make it viable. So we're gonna do that. Like I need to just, I just need to push, push to the side, you know? It's gonna be a three placer. Do that. Like honestly, almost more than than uh, 
you know, going for some big strategy. I almost feel like it's better to just just play play with the dots, just straight take stuff over. That seems way way stronger than anything else. But if you're doing that, you're just like, oh, that's mine. I'm just gonna take that. And like you can start, you know, taking stuff over very quickly. that down to a one yeah that's that's definitely a way way smarter way to play this is just outbuild your opponent I'm, I'm sitting here like I'm gonna destroy their card and after I destroy it I'm gonna play something in the back like no just gobble up all the places gobble up all the places so they can't play Doing that instantly turned things around. Impossible. How could someone break through my perfect defense? Who are you? Blood peasant. I knew I couldn't stay holed up in here forever. Walls can keep people safe. Right. Starting today, you and I am going to enjoy watching you crumble. Man, some of these people definitely have problems, but I am really enjoying the dialogue of dealing with the the card games. They're like all super eccentric, you know. The one dude's just saying sometimes you gotta take the L. She's over there in her own little fantasy land. You got the other guy that just sobs uncontrollably. Of course. Look who it is. You up already? Drinking already? No, sir. Not gonna have a drop till Seventh Heaven's back up and running. First one's on me, okay? Now that's what I'm talking about. You gotta remember to order some top shelf stuff in that case. Perpetrated by the infamous insurgent group known as Avalanche. Alright, well, from here it looks like it's time to go meet up with Aerith, but uh, I think we did a pretty good job of exploring the city. Which is cool, because you didn't really explore the city in the original, so... Kind of wandering around. The city is definitely very alive. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead, wrap things up here, save, and take a little break, get some food. And then, uh, yeah, we'll have more Rebirth coming your way. I'll catch you then.